sewing lookbook asymmetrical top that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. Now I'm going to be showing you one of my latest makes which is this cute and sexy asymmetrical top. I can see it's got like a scoop, well not too much of a scoop, asymmetrical line which means it's different on both sides. So I've got the setting sleeve here and I've got half oh, the sleeve here. Well, the head part of the sleeve is missing and it's held up with these thin, narrow elastic and I've also got them on the side. So it's 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 almost like an illusion an illusion top as well. So um yeah. So when you've got your arms down, they're more or less covered the sides. So it's a cute top, an experimental top. The um the straps at the top were what I do with a lot of my projects, with a, with a lot of my projects, because it's it's what I enjoy doing. So I enjoy doing the pattern sewing and the garment sewing and also enjoy drafting my um, own sewing patterns as well. So, um, and designing. God, I do that. I, yeah, I enjoyed the whole process. I enjoyed the whole process of designing and patterning and also not, if I'm honest, not so much the making part of it, but that's part of the process to see whether my idea works. So um, yeah, they all have to be part of that whole process. So um, so these are just kind of my, my designs and I experiment to make sure that I'm happy with the way it looks and you know my idea is going to work. So the, the elastic here is going to be how I've been sewn into the garment. It's different from how I did it from the side of the garment as well. Just basically to see which technique was easier, which one hopefully works. And yeah, they both did. So I just note that down on my design sheet and hey presto. Yeah, so that's um, one of my latest makes. Now there was fabric that was left over, so it meant that I can make a scarf. So um, it's a scarf, a long scarf. So I just put it around my neck twice and yeah, hey presto, um, I've got a complete outfit. So it's important for me that I use up as much of my scraps as I can. And one of the main reasons for that is because whenever I buy fabric, I don't necessarily know what I'm going to be making, but I make sure that I'm buying enough for, you know, because you have some rough idea on the type of weight of fabric that you're going for, whether it's going to be a blouse or a shirt or pants or a coat, you know, obviously, you know, the, the weight of the fabric is going to be heavier, um, but not necessarily the design. But some ideas because you do have a set kind of style that you, that suits your body shape. And sometimes, um, you know, you want to make something that doesn't suit your body type, which is totally fine. You know, whether it's, you see it on the catwalks or it's just something in your head you just like and you just want to experiment with, but you're not sure if it's going to suit your body shape, go for it. That's what I say. Go for it. So, yeah, I love this scarf. So, you are going to see me modelling this cute, sexy top in this section now.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that segment of me modeling my top. Um, yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed, I enjoyed, I enjoyed this project. It was, it wasn't too much of a challenge for me. And, um, yeah, yeah, getting a lot of wear. <laughs> I've worn it around the house. I'll be honest, I, I have worn it around the house because, um, it's about confidence. Um, if I'll wear it out, absolutely. Um, something I would, wouldn't give a second thought if I was younger because I, I have worn, um, not daring things um, out, but um, challenging things like this where at the front it just looks like, you know, a plain asymmetrical top and then you've got that cheeky little, you know, insertion, that, the insertion of the side of the elastics. It's just, just kind of the way my design brain works, I suppose. So I hope you enjoyed that segment. If you did, then please do share, give it a thumbs up, and do consider subscribing. If you enjoy my videos, then um, please subscribe. Um, you know, I really do appreciate that and appreciate everybody who watches my videos. And I will see you next time.